this is the double kettlebell squat. For this particular exercise, I want you to go heavy. So you're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells that are um, very challenging in, um, in how much they weigh. And you're not probably not gonna be able to get them from the floor into the front rack position unless you knew how to do a, a kettlebell clean and we really haven't gone over them. So for safety's sake, I don't want you hurting your wrists or your shoulders. Um, you're gonna grab the two heavy kettlebells and put them on a chair or on a bench. Now mine are not the same weight because I don't happen to have a pair, um, but just pretend that they are and that they're really heavy. So you're gonna put them up on a bench or chair and then you're going to squat down and then get it into a good, um, what we call front rack position for the kettlebell. So a good front rack is you're gonna grab the kettlebell by the handle and it's gonna wind up sitting right here in the crook of your elbow, okay? So laying on your forearm here in the elbow what you're gonna to have to do, like I said, is you're going to put the two handles together, okay? Palms facing, squat down, grab the kettlebells, and then squat them up, okay? So when you have them in the front rack, your hands are gonna to be together, and the kettlebell's sitting in the crook of your elbows. Okay, you're gonna squat as, hopefully getting the hips right at or below the knee, so as deep as you can. And this is gonna be heavy to the point but really, by the time you've done five or six, you should be about done, okay? And then once you're done, you're gonna come over and squat them back down. So the tendency is going to be, I'm done, and then have some awful rounded back to put them down. I either want you to deadlift them, meaning hip hinge them and put them down, or go back and put them back on the step or the bench and squat. Okay, so that's the double kettlebell heavy squat.